Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching day 20 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to day 20 of my mystery whiskey advent or dramvent calendar. If you've seen this before and you know it works, then you can just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have over 150 samples in my sample collection and my wife has picked 24 at random. She'll put one a day into this blue Glencairn glass and I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. Should we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. If you'd like to play along with me and find out what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description now for a sneak peek. Let's start with the nose. Right, so this has got um, like lots of burnt sugar, like creme brulee. It really, really is uh, noticeable. It reminds me of um, a little bit of candy floss as well. But not much more. I'm really struggling to get past that burnt sugar. This is really weird. I'm not getting anything else. No. Let's move on to the palette. So, it tastes like sugary water. I know I've had this before in a couple of sort of entry level blends, sort of 40% whiskies, but I do think sometimes that some of my samples possibly haven't sealed as perfectly as they could. Maybe some of the alcohol has evaporated and maybe this is uh, the result that sometimes certain whiskies just come across very flat and lacklustre, like there's nothing there. I'll persevere and we'll see if we can get anything else. Yeah, there's, it doesn't really taste like alcohol. There's sugary, slightly burnt sugar like I got on the nose. Obviously nowhere near as sweet as the nose was, but nothing else. It's possible that, as I said, this has had a dodgy cap or something like that. And maybe that's the result or maybe yeah, well, I know my taste buds aren't shot because before a blind taste, I have a palate setter, a reference dram. And I always try on the nose and the palate before I blind taste to make sure that I'm ready to go and that my reference dram um, always smells and tastes as it should. And this definitely doesn't taste as whiskey should. Obviously, there's a chance that something that's in this glass isn't whiskey, but I don't think anything that I've got that isn't whiskey should taste like this. Let's have one final sip, just for, I don't know, luck. Yeah, I'm not, not getting anything else. If I had to guess, I'd say this is probably a 40% blend of some kind of whiskey from some kind of countries. It's it could, it could be anything, but my guess is if it's lost this much flavour or lacks this much flavour, then it's potentially a very light dram to start with and a, and a, and a blend. 
Shall we find out what's in my glass? Right, so it's White and Mackay Light. It's 21.5% ABV and it was sent to me by White and Mackay as part of a tweet tasting. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised it doesn't taste of anything. It's obviously designed for people that want to drink less alcohol. I remember, because I have tried this before, I remember being incredibly disappointed on the palate as you've just seen me do. And I was quite impressed on the nose. It definitely, at the time, um, gave away more whiskey-like flavours on the nose. This is a sample which I didn't finish. So I, I drank half of it and kept half. So yeah, po possibly it has lost some of its, um, I don't know, I could, well, character I suppose but it definitely at the time um, and that was some time ago um, it definitely had a bit more character on the nose a bit more flavors I could pick out but yeah I remember it basically having nothing on the palate obviously if you were drinking this as a whiskey sub substitute then it's going to be incredibly light and not really tasted much I think obviously if you're going to mix it with something then it's already half the strength of um, a standard whiskey so you can halve your units and potentially get whiskey flavor in your drink but um, I've never tried this mix so I can't can't tell for sure but yeah I remember and as I've proved now it really doesn't, doesn't taste of anything when you drink it neat it, it, it's so lackluster for whiskey drinkers that I think it's really aimed at the uh, I, th I think it's aimed at the average whiskey drinker that buys supermarket brands and, you know, drinks them probably a bit too much and wants to cut down so they decide to buy this to, f you know, improve their health or feel better or something like that. But yeah, I'm not the intended market and this forum isn't the intended place to uh, show it off because it really really lacks um, character well hopefully you found that funny and um, I'm sure my wife did when she picked it if she realized what it was and um, yeah looks like I've taken one for the team today hopefully you'll come back tomorrow for day 21 and I'll see you then I hope you enjoyed this video if you did why not give it a like or a comment and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.